जय हिंद जय हिंद एवरीवन वेलकम वेलकम टू टू डेज लाइव फर्स्टली आई नो इट्स अ सडन लाइव बट ए सी आई ओ इंटेलिजेंस ब्यूरो के फॉर्म्स निकल चुके हैं सो आई थॉट आई शुड नॉट डीले दिस लाइव एनी मोर यू विल हैव मेनी प्रेसिंग क्वेश्चन उस चीज के लिए आई थॉट दैट आई शुड डू दिस लाइव लाइव ऑफ इमिडिएट ओके सो टूडेज लाइव सेशन इज अबाउट हाउ टू ज्वाइन द मोस्ट प्रेस्टीज इंटेलिजेंस एजेंसीज ऑफ इंडिया द इंटेलिजेंस ब्यूरो एंड वी हैव विद अस इन टूडेज लाइव नवजोत सिंह हु हेल्स फ्रॉम द बैंक ऑफ शिनाब एंड द हिस्टोरिक टाउन ऑफ अखनूर and he is an engineer by education a poet and a public speaker by passion and not to miss out an intelligence veteran he has served in uh, various projects while he was in intelligence bureau uh, in counter insurgency operations in northeast and jnk and uh, there is uh, so much to tell about him post that he was part of Uh, the ministry of labor as an enforcement officer in chandigarh and uh, he he has many accolades to him and i will not refrain you from interacting with him i am bringing navjot singh live uh, just give me a second really very special for me Hi Navjot Jai Hind Hi hi good evening good evening Major Nithi how are you I'm I'm fine how are you doing All I'm doing good after a long time we are meeting after days for right uh, it's been a while i guess uh quite yes. some time 3 to 4 years i guess Yes yes absolutely like uh, we met probably in 28 uh, 19 2019 most probably 19 yes, yeah it was 19 Yes, and you so you got posted out. Uh, you also got posted out, and I also left. So kind of yeah, good reunion of sorts. Yes, yes. Uh, so friends, uh, me and Navjot, we have. Uh, it was a great opportunity for me to have worked with him when I was posted in Tezpur, and um, uh, that also hints on. And we will be covering how intelligence agencies interact and. and what is the exposure you will be getting in this uh, in this uh, entire uh, uh, framework as as a intelligence officer and uh, this is a very special uh, live for me kyunki navjot this is the first live i am doing with another intelligence so maybe uh, bahut <laughs> same here same here the feeling, the, the feeling is mutual the feeling is mutual here yeah. rob great great so um uh navjot uh, i was flooded with questions from uh, our aspirants and many of them have been asking me ma'am intelligence mein kaise aaye how to join in core agar in core mein nahi ho to ib mein kaise jaye raw mein kaise jaye you know all that questions i keep getting from the uh, children so um first um, uh, i would want you to um, tell the um, Uh, the viewers little bit about um, what exactly is an intelligence agency you know very rudimentary thing and uh, how it is different from um, investigating uh, setups in our country and um, uh, when we talk of intelligence bureau what are the different parts that we can i mean the the people who would like to join would want to see it okay so uh, all okay. right ma'am i think i think uh, you raised a few va- very valid points here uh, even all of us have been getting queries from students about and one of the funniest queries that i got sir whether we will get weapon training or, or or something like that so there are lot lot of curious curious aspirants around so mm-hmm. we will be trying to bust a few myths as well from their point of view some of you some of them might have you know uh, wished to have that james bond kind of craze out here so uh, let's first Correct. things first yeah yeah first things first so see intelligence bureau as a first we'll start with a little background about intelligence bureau 
so it started in the pre independence era during the british time in the later part of the 19th century so in 1887 when this organization was founded it was majorly tasked with you know busting those thuggy and dacoitry uh, incidents that used to happen uh, f- from the british perspective point of view all right mm-hmm. and gradually post independence uh, this transitioned into our as we know it today as the intelligence bureau and it took up the intelligence activities both within our frontiers as well as uh, across the borders as well so ib handled both the internal as well as external agent, uh, external security functions till the middle of i would rather say uh, 60s 1960s and all of you have been aware uh, we we were badly beat, beaten during the 1962 war we had a uh, rough shot there so after that what happened Uh, under the dynamic leadership of uh, indira gandhi and the then one of the most uh, i am in awe of uh, kau sir uh, ma'am you must be aware arun kau sir who doesn't yeah, know so, him who doesn't absolutely know. absolutely so his uh, astute diplomatic smarts his intelligence acumen and the you know wonderful leadership of indira gandhi at that time it sought that we need a different external agency external intelligence agency so in that front we in 1968 under his brain child we you know see another organization uh, that has made a mark for itself now for many years now across the world uh, and rnaw came came into existence we called rom in very very you know novice parlance but it's rnaw yes. the research and analysis wing and so post which i mean the functions uh, were bifurcated the intelligence inside the country the internal security was taken up by the intelligence bureau which was also uh, aided by the DGMI the Directorate General of Military Intelligence and other intelligence agencies across the security setup and uh, ma'am the second question that you asked about the kind of entries that we can have in the intelligence bureau hmm. Hmm. so uh, till 60s or 70s i would rather say uh, since at that time uh, we were not very the internet internet boom was not there as well as the social media and the uh, means of communication so at that time the hiring was a little little more clandestine i would say so yeah. uh, all of us have been aware of ravinder grewal sir uh, how he was uh, in the pakistan he went there and that see the thing is now now the what you call it the hiring process is more nuanced it's more transparent and there are two to three ways we can enter it first is this exam which has created a lot of craze among the aspirants the ibaci yes. examination yeah this is yeah. one one sort of entry other is ma'am uh, we can enter through the departmental route for example uh, interdepartmental transfers we have yes. officers from the indian army as well entering into the rnaw and the ib we have uh, from the dri we have we have from the army aviation core we have people coming up here the arc uh, you see in the army uh, the aviation research center which is a kind of a body sister body of uh, the rnaw itself rnaw so, yes. yeah yeah so lot of lot of bodies a uh, lot of ways to enter one is the direct route then senior ips officers who have served several years in the service state service they also choose to uh, enter into the service in the in the bureau uh, case in point we have our current national security advisor uh, shri ajit dowal sir uh, and it, it's it was quite a coincidence that he was also the uh, director of the guwahati setup where i was posted he was the director okay. there and i i really heard a lot of uh, very inter- interesting stories about his stint there which okay. uh, are outside outside the scope of this video because classified Obviously. information Obviously. yeah so yeah <laughs> nice. so uh, yeah it, actually so the thing is there are many ways and uh, an aspirant who really wants to serve the country he will find a way see even a sweeper on the road is serving the country so you don't need to enter into intelligence bureau or the indian army or the ias or any other service for that matter what we need is our heart in the right place if our heart is in the right place we are ready to serve our country and the platform matters also if we get a better platform our skills and our opportunity we can utilize that in a much much better way so uh, that is about little bit ma'am uh, uh, what was the other question i actually forgot no no problem so uh, you you like you very very beautifully you brought out uh, the different paths in ib and uh, for the benefit of the organization uh, for the, for the benefit of the uh, viewers um, 
in intelligence uh, bureau uh, uh, you know uh, the entry through uh, an acio level uh, uh, will will uh, you know it it's very what what he told of two parts where army officers also uh, step in and that is called a deputation you know so once you have joined armed forces it's only after that you fill a volunteer form and they will be able to join the um, intelligence bureau yeah right. so uh, very very insightful um, uh, navjot now tell yeah. us about becoming an acio what is the process what is the syllabus are they like okay. like for uh, joining the military intelligence in our case mm -hmm. it is important that you have to first uh, you know give the standard ota cds all those exams okay once you clear okay. that you go to the academy once there you get the opportunity to fill the choice of arms and that's when your segregation happens into the code of intelligence right. but right. i'm very sure here it's 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 there that you know intelligence officer so you know those those requirements of becoming an intelligence officer everything will be weighed from day one of your written exam unlike in our case that is the stark difference i want to bring out so what is what is the process what is the syllabus and what are the timelines Yes, ma'am. So, ma'am, first of all, uh, one thing that I have been telling all the aspirants that we don't become an officer after qualifying the examination. We first imbibe those qualities in us, us, and then we actually clear the exam. So, it is actually a reverse engineering sort of thing. People believe we've got get into the IMA, we get into the Labasna, we get into the OTA, we get into the bureau, and then we become officers. Actually, it is the officer in you that is fine-tuned when you get into the organization. so this preparation phase is actually that churning that is required to make you a more uh, responsible citizen that is why there is competition that makes you stand out from the rest you become first among the equals so coming back to the process of the examination as you rightly mentioned ma'am uh, as far as the military intelligence is concerned first we get through to the through to the army ranks army colors and then only you get into your diversified specializations maybe signal intelligence or military intelligence or other other wings of the army or for yes. that matter air force air force also uh, yes. as far as the intelligence bureau is concerned uh, and and also for the, this is also true for rnaw as well so there is a dedicated examination uh, which selects uh, capable officers capable young citizens of this country as i keep saying ma'am the proud young citizens of this great nation so we are looking for these those proud young citizens of this great nation who have the will in them to serve the motherland so starting off they have to fill as we can see the notification has come notification is out 995 vacancies have been advertised so it is basically a three stage process the first stage would be your objective type examination where you will be tested on your uh, reasoning ability your analytical skills your english language skills as well as your uh, awareness about current affairs what is happening in the country and around country and beyond you must be aware of what is happening in gaza right now you can't keep your eyes closed and consider that you are an intelligence aspirant that can't be the case at the same time uh, at the same time you also have to be aware about the general studies different general studies concepts for example how the economy of the country works what is the political structure what is what are the environmental issues recently we had cop 28 uh, happening in ua where we had a very substantial development on the loss and damage fund so these are the things see as an intelligence officer or for that matter an aware citizen i would say you have to be aware about what's happening around because i would tell you my example while serving in tejpur ma'am uh, actually when i told my brother who is who is also happens to be a major major in the army now he has joined the civil services so i was telling him that uh, uh, i i have made this research report about onion prices so someone would believe that in intelligence operative what is what is the thing about an intelligence what is the thing about yes yeah. yeah so so that is the thing your field of work your work area is very very diverse from handling counter insurgency operations to onion prices see the spectrum ma'am and at the same yes, time absolutely uh, yeah you 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 are in tejpur uh, we know the kolia bhamora bridge there ma'am and yes uh, it becomes one of very very strategic assets for the country because uh, exactly. for the military deployment in the times of war or you know logistics and other support we need to yeah, yeah we need to safeguard our strategic assets 
so it is not just uh, about the power even even in the military i believe because yes. the aspirants have to shed this misconception the notion in their mind that we have to wield a gun and just shoot down the enemy that is not the case you have to have a cool head above your shoulders that is how Absolutely. you become an officer even in the military it is not just about going here wire and just shooting randomly when you are conducting tactical operations so you have to yes. the leader in you has to guide your troops in a way that uh, there there minimum casualty and your tasks are accomplished so it's no, not about becoming those silvester stallone rambo rambo stuff is not happening in these organizations um ma'am uh, you I must have so. uh, even 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 yeah, yeah. the james bond stuff is not happening <laughs> okay even uh, vikram <laughs> vikram suit vikram suit sir in one of the interviews mentioned uh, it is interesting that these things happen uh, sipping a martini in a in a in a you know high end hotel that is the stuff of yeah. legends that is not what happens in the reality and reality is far far from the, far from this and you have to go through the hard yards and the grinds uh, you have to have that patience to sit sit and you know recce a place for hours and hours on end to get a substantial lead so coming yeah. back to the examination this is so interesting that i get you know you get caught up in this uh, i know my, i know yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so the thing is uh, coming back to the examination uh, we were talking about stage 1 where we have you know your quantitative aptitude your logical reasoning your english paper current awareness as well as your general studies after you have qualified this is a 100 marks paper and you will have to get around 60 to 65 percent marks to get for the next stage most likely that is what has been the trend mm -hmm. after you qualify this exam then the second stage ma'am is a subjective paper that you are supposed mm -hmm. to showcase your uh, ability to analyze a variety of concepts particularly what i feel and what i discussed with my seniors as well uh, the current director ib he was one of my seniors in guwahati take deka sir uh when he, yes. during our my tenure he was there in the body setup the current yes. dib was there so i happened to discuss with sir once about this thing and the idea was the idea was to be able to enable the candidates to think because intelligence is about exact and timely reporting it, it is about yes. you know getting to those minute details uh, many times sukhoi crash happens or recently we have seen the pilatus has crashed in medak so what what happens what is what is your task as an intelligence operative in that area you have to make a very very nuanced understanding of the situation so that it doesn't happen again yes ma'am pulwama happened 2611 happened there is there was definitely i have no shame in accepting it was an intel failure but we should learn from our experiences we as a nation yes. we start yeah we started the multi agency center after 2611 Uh, but yes. i think more more needs to be done on that front because now the enemy is invisible enemy we have cyber threat yes. is you know looming large it can sabotage yes. our strategic assets sitting across the border so uh, these people these are young our young aspirants they have to be aware that it is not just going to be like you know uh, just scribbling on social media it is much beyond that and i mean if i if you allow me i i have to mention one thing i am appalled actually at the state of you know the youth where youth is running into uh, hmm. more more so reading habit has gone uh, absolutely the, the, yeah the the ability to stick with something for a long time that is gone and more so people are you the are young proud citizens i would call them proud but they they should rabindranath tagore said where the mind is without fear and the head is held high ma'am i i can doubt that that head can help be held that high now because things are we are seeing a you know erosion of morality erosion of all these uh, virtues the that patience, you know the compassion yeah, yeah. the Absolutely. pride of a nation of being uh, you know that the case but then uh, yeah so yes he is that's definitely there and this is something which is which affects the especially an intelligence operative because in this diverse uh, space where he have uh, he or she has to operate जहाँ पे एक सेकेंड में यू माइट बी सेविंग अ मार्टिन बट द नेक्स्ट मोमेंट यू हैव टू इंटरेक्ट विद अ गाई सिटिंग ऑन द रोड और प्रॉब्लम हैव अ कप ऑफ टी दैट दैट डिमेंशन यू आर ट्रवर्सिंग नॉट ओनली दैट यू हैव टू स्पीक इल अबाउट योर ओन सेटअप इन फ्रंट ऑफ दर्सन गोइंग टू गिव यूर इन्फॉर्मेशन बिकॉज एंड एंड 
all this this ability to communicate and to take out information there is always i always um, uh, refer to this whenever i have interaction with my juniors intelligence is not a one way traffic you you should know exactly what information you are ready to sell that you get what you want so it has to be a two way transaction which is happening right and that has to be very smart and it can be only done if you have a very high level of integrity a very high level of honesty and lo loyalty to your organization and the country so ma'am uh, you you i would mention the chetwood credo nation comes first and you know you come at the end nation comes first you have to sell off if 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 you have to sell off yourself for the nation you have to sell off yourself for the nation that that's the hit so uh, very rightly brought up so uh, you spoke of stage 1 you spoke of stage stage 2 what happens next ma'am next we have a psychometry test as happens in the army as well the army way right uh, because interesting. you need to have the personality profiling of the aspirants so Correct. so that we need a certain certain kind of mindset and certain kind of aptitude to serve in the intelligence organization and oh, after that along with that interview also happens so as happens in the ssb a similar sort of matching is done in your you know whether there is any divergence in what you pretend and what you project so that kind of profiling is done and whether your personality is suitable to the needs of the organization so eventually the scores for the all three stages are you know they are added up and finally uh, you are entering into one of the prestigious organizations i would say in the entire world absolutely uh, so this four stages happen at what i would, what I would call it my three stage i three. would call it three stage only because interview and psychometric tests are more or less they happen uh, in a very short notice maybe on the same day mostly so okay like that and and where is the location of these exam exams i'm sure it would happen pan india or is it like that like we have centers do you have the same thing no ma'am it, it happens pan india it happens pan india the aspirants who have filled the form they have been given five choices to as per their okay. convenience and as per the availability they will be given uh, their their centers and it is of pan so india there is no so what are the choices uh, ma'am any choices they can give any 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 choices they can give for example someone is in uh, jammu and kashmir so he can fill five centers which are in close proximity to the area someone in up can fill maybe gorakhpur lucknow or for that matter five mm -hmm. immediate centers so probability okay. is they may be given yeah yeah yes ma'am yes okay and in what time frame we are looking at this say today i fill the form when is the exam happening ma'am see uh, this exam is not a, not a, not happens regularly so this is this exam is happening after a gap of 2 to 3 years now i think exactly. probably it happened in probably. 2021 2021 yes. ma'am yeah so uh, from past experience uh, one can assume that exam will happen in the middle of february that is the most likely date but as you can say the confirmation has to come from the ministry of home affairs uh, so there also so, ib is unpredictable right that, as usual <laughs> i mean when there nice. is, uh, there, is, there is a legend that goes that uh in the 60s or 70s call letters were handed over individually even if uh, your someone has been selected he would be given call letters in person not even to parents as well so that level of uh commendable stealth that level of stealth has to be maintained uh, yeah had i been had i been in the service i would not have been sitting here in front of you talking about the uh, forces correct correct Yeah. uh so uh, uh february approximately it happens and then uh, once the result comes of the result. another 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 2 to 3 months you will have stage 2 and okay. then you will have yeah so probably by the end of next year probably uh the selection so should a, be completed it's almost a one year cycle it's almost a one, one year, year we have to we have to assume at max it, it will assume. take like by september or october of next year the process has to be complete yeah and in the in the field of intelligence we don't believe in assumptions so dear aspirants keep preparing agar bole aaj jo ke aaj jo interview dene then you should be ready for that that readiness combat readiness you should be there right ma'am uh, one of the aspirants and in fact many aspirants they ask me sir uh, i am a fresher so uh, is two and a half months sufficient to pre prepare for this examination 
So I would only ask them one question. If I tell you no, will you stop preparing? So they get the answer. So, yes. but the thing is, as the motto of the organization also goes, Jagrint Aharnisham, which means always alert. So that is the training you are being given by the bureau right now. Also, be alert for the exam. Keep preparing. Yes. Get your because war doesn't give you a, a notice. It will come. War happens. If war is there, you can't say that I'm not prepared. You have to just pack your bags yeah. and go shooting. Go fight. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. And do you yes, know uh, the motto of uh, our core intelligence course is okay. the core what is, is that also mean? I'm, I'm not aware. Sadatat, sada satak. So that's, it's almost the same. It's the similar thing. Yes. It's the similar thing. Yes. It is so, um, uh, okay. So we spoke about the stages. We spoke about the time frame. Let's come to the eligibility in terms of what should be the qualification, age limit, etc. And how who, uh, how can the aspirants see these details? Uh, is there a platform or a portal where they can get the necessary information? Uh, Ma'am, uh, since the notification is out. Uh, a lot of aspirants have been, you know, uh, they have been asking queries. I have been not been able to personally answer them. So I would advise them that they, there is a telegram group. They can go there and they can ask queries. Plus I am sharing the information on my YouTube channel as well. So those of you okay. who have queries, they, they can get there and I have, you know, tried to address all those queries. So for okay. the benefit of the aspirants who are live right now, you who may listen later, uh, I will try to make a few things clear here. First of all, ma'am, age qualification would be 18 to 27 years. Okay. okay, that is the first thing. And the cutoff will be the closing date of the examination. Like 15th of December is the last day to fill the form. So you should not have crossed 27 years of age by that, uh, by that date. Plus, you should be not be less than 18 years of age by that date. So within 18 okay. to 27, you are, you are eligible. And next query that comes in line is final year graduates. So minimum eligibility is graduation. So if your result hasn't been declared before 15th, uh, unfortunately, you may not be able to fill the form. And about ma'am, the height and other criteria, it is not as strict as in the defense forces. Uh, yeah, so that is the thing because uh, here more, more so as you have also seen in intelligence, it is your mind that needs to be more agile than your body. Body also needs to be agile, but it's your mind that needs to be more alert. So some discounts are given, for example, height criteria. It's not as strict. One six, even I have colleagues who were lesser than 160 centimeters. They are serving and serving and how and is doing really good job. And apart from that, ma'am, uh, about the eyesight, eyesight also people have been asking. So if you have six by six, six by nine, six by 12, that works. Mm -hmm. And even right. spectacles, spectacles, no problem. It's just that color blindness uh, that that may cause a little bit of issue because yeah. uh, on, op on operations and some you know operational strains you might as well need to discriminate between a few things so color blindness might uh, be a challenge here so yes. about that ma'am yeah good uh, very interesting so uh, uh, dear friends um, I'll be sharing you the links to Navjot's uh, Telegram IDs and. Uh, uh, his YouTube links. You can check out any more detail you want to know. Any medical condition? Is it going to? Um, uh, I mean, is it acceptable and not acceptable? You will get all answers to those questions. Now, um, in the army, we talk about uh, you know the, the the understanding of challenges and opportunities. Um, we still have enough of, of you know that coming on social media, on YouTube, on on the entire uh, interface. Mm -hmm. But uh, when it comes to the intelligence part, and especially when we talk of intelligence bureau, uh, the, it is restricted to what we see in movies, what we read in books. So what challenges and opportunities uh, will, and I would call it opportunities only, there are no challenges in intelligence. We don't believe in that. Okay, so what opportunities lies ahead in terms of responsibility, in terms of exposure, Whatever bit you can declassify, just let us know that much, which can inspire the uh, aspirants. Ma'am, there is a very uh, common statement in the world of espionage that in the world of espionage, we don't gloat over our enemy's failure because yeah. our may be just next in line. Because, Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> so, so the thing is, the thing is, 
we never get to know about good spy somebody asks who is a good spy we never get to He'll know about good spy no. because we don't talk about our successes we'll get a memo if we do so yeah a spy a spy is known by his failures yeah so because that's when we come to know that someone you know has for example ma'am talking about the recent uh, this issue in the us uh, you, the nijar issue and the good patwan pannu pannu issue where pannu we have issue, seen a yeah. conflagration between the uh, new delhi washington and Can, uh, uh, toronto ontario so the thing is ma'am uh, this nikhil gupta guy i will try to give, explain with an example this nikhil gupta uh, who is allegedly a drug uh, heading a drug cartel has supposedly been contacted by some intelligence official into yeah. uh, elim- eliminating that uh, pannu guy the head of six for justice uh, but the thing is he hired another 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 guy who happens to be a double agent so the problem Correct. here is yeah uh, so what he was he was working for the fbi he was working for the us drug administration so he was planted by the us itself to ensure that so this entire this quagmire this is entire web of things that happened so in and, the world and, of and if you come to know about a famous uh, intelligence uh, operative or for that matter even if you if uh, dear viewers you know that we have worked in the field of intelligence it is a very careful revelation of information which is happening okay Absolutely. so don't think that yeah so don't, yeah. don't think that uh, you know it's just oh bata diya wala scene aisa nahi hai this is this is this is why this is why i'm even speaking about this because this is an open source uh, i wouldn't even, we are we are bound by the osa even now official secrets act Um, Absolutely. I mean, one of Rather, the other every in one of Indian the, is born by that. Every Indian is born yeah, by yeah. the USA. Absolutely. They yes. they have to. They should understand actually. They should understand it. Yes. Uh, yes. That is that will be in the best interest of the nation. In one of the interviews, ma'am, I was asked about what I do in the bureau. So um, <laughs> there was senior IS officer there. So I just mentioned, sir, am I supposed to answer this question? So he got the drift. So he didn't ask further because he understood the. what would you say the domain domain of work that we are in because uh, we are all working for national security we are all working there uh, so some things don't come to light uh, i will try to build on that idea of double agent a little bit uh, since i will try to make sure that it is only unclassified information i will not go beyond the beyond the what is in the open source yeah, yeah so so for the interest of the viewers what is a double agent a double agent is primarily a person an agent when we say an agent an agent is somebody who is taken on a payroll they are not people who are randomly looked at as sources and for a short duration they are very well taken on payroll and they they are they are guided what is to be done and all those stuff uh, but when we say a double agent the person is probably flip, uh, like you know uh, he is he is working for many agencies and generally we we come to know about such people and uh, there so we we work with lot of caution that this person can flip on any side um but yes so this is one of the unfortunate cases where probably he has just you know who bin pande ka lota jo hum bolte hain wo lota kaise ka us tarah ma'am but, but the thing is ye bin pande ka lota sometimes turns out to be very useful as uh, it is very becomes two sir also in one of his books has mentioned that yeah. uh, these double agents sometimes they are like they are a blessing in disguise They because are, they are Indeed. because we we sometimes we come we know that uh, see uh, whenever a handler for example a senior official who is handling these agents uh, the mannerisms kind of show that whether they are going rogue or something like that so yeah. sometimes what happens we plant them we plant information the information is planted so that so we said, get mm, yes so yes, when yes, we yes, get, sorry we get cues we get cues for example we are planting information to the is information comes back and we get some crucial information so that is how sure. uh, someone you know about walk ins people walk in and they tell you that we will work for you kind of that they also they are mostly double agents they are mostly yes. double agents who work for multiple organization uh, one of the you know ma'am important uh, double agents or intelligence operatives in the history richard sorye who was a soviet mi officer military soviet military intelligence officer he worked for the japanese he worked for the germans he worked for the soviets and in fact he was the one who told stalin that hitler is going to attack in june so how much 
how much role the spies really play in safeguarding uh, the averting yeah, wars averting wars uh, yeah. there was there was a report about the before the kargil war there was an intel about something may be happening but that was that was a generalized input so i yeah. for the benefit of the viewers generalized input is one that is intel is one that is not actionable we don't have a specific yeah. lead and one we have a yeah. specific lead where we can you know act on that uh, also about 2611 Uh, we came to know about the Coleman Headley, Richard Coleman Headley, who was one of the masterminds uh, behind the. You know, he was doing the recce, and uh, so a lot of things, lot of things work in this, uh, which is quite confusing at times for an onlooker. Yes. Uh, but that's how that's how it works. That is how it works. Yes, so ma'am. when you have to, when you have to, so Naljot, you are trying to bring out when you have to deal such dynamic situation on a day-to-day basis. you have to have the head at the right place you know you have to have a full composure that this is some this is a quality that uh, that uh, the agency might be looking for they will also be looking for people with eye of detail you know a lot of detailing should be there you should pick up these cues you mentioned mannerisms now um, body language and handwriting analysis is something i love to do so you know that's been my forte uh, so um for the benefit of the viewers you can you can read you can try to read a little bit about these things that you know how to how to pick up mannerisms be and you know you actually don't need a course in anything start becoming very observant that is the i think so now please correct me i think so if they become observant like you said if they start reading news understand read between the lines thoda ek alertness waisa laenge So they should be able to crack the exam, and they should be able to do well in the uh, courses. Um, Ma'am, I would recommend a book. I would recommend a book on that regard to the aspirants. Uh, Please do. The Gent- gentleman spy master. Shri Rameshwarnath okay. Rao, Arun Council. The gentleman. He was. He was. All the his contemporaries as well as his juniors. They speak highly of him. he was like that silent assassin uh, there is one of the stories about him in 1996 uh, when you know 25 years of bangladesh liberation war hmm. so one of the journalists walked up to him and he was sitting in the audience only he was not on the dais he's not on the okay. stage uh, and he identified him and he said sir you should be on the stage uh, he said no no i don't need to be there they are the right people and he felt a little embarrassed on being identified so the usp the the ex factor of an intelligence operator was stealth so he yes. was kind of you know uh, shying away from taking line like we work in the shadows another book a life in the shadows by as dulat sir that also you know a life in the shadows yes. you are those unsung heroes who serve the country silently come and silently vanish away into thin air so that if you are if you are driven by the love of the motherland then yes. you are definitely i i i i like this couplet very beautifully जो जो बहा नहीं है भावों से बहती जिसमें रसधार नहीं जो बहा नहीं है भावों से बहती जिसमें रसधार नहीं वह हृदय नहीं वह पत्थर है जिसमें स्वदेश का प्यार नहीं तो स्वदेश का प्यार है तो कोई भी चैलेंज कोई भी चैलेंज बड़ा नहीं है फिर सो नवजोत का कवि निकल ही आया everybody sees the flamboyance the glamour the, the 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 all the shimmering lights of these organization the adventure you know, many people ask me ma'am adventure ke liye na maine kaha adventure soch ke aaoge pehle din tum jaoge <laughs> ma'am life life is life is not all james bond right uh, there are there are glamorous moments in life so in espionage so in espionage so, there are there lights like sprinkling of that salt in the veget in the you know what we eat, that sabzi we eat so that sprinkling of the grammar is there the rest is doing the hard yards just doing those uh, tactical tough operations that you are supposed to do yes absolutely absolutely so you suggested two books uh, namjot uh, any 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 other uh, book uh, like one book i which i have personally loved and i recommend uh, is is this book by um, Victor Otro. What books we spoke about? Stages. We spoke about qualifications, eligibility. Um, one of the concerns 
of, of especially defense operative who are kind of like, uh, should they explore uh, IB? Should they explore uh, being in intelligence? One of the thing is that, um, uh, you know, um, probably they won't wear the uniform. So how's the work going to be, you know, all those concerns are there. So what are your thoughts on this, uh, uh, Navjot? Ma'am, a very interesting question. Uh, wearing those olive <laughs> wearing those olive greens would definitely, you know, who give those goosebumps and that rush of blood. But irrespective of olive, olive greens or not, the idea is to serve the country, I believe. So if that's if your heart is in the right place, I think these things hardly matter. There are people who are serving the country in different capacities. If you're driven more by those uh, with the love of the country and your spirit to do something meaningful, uh, these things become trivial. I would rather say these things are and added. They add prestige to the organization, to the job, and they are not like you can just go and just shop it off. It is earned. It is earned through your blood, sweat and toil. But at the same time, you have to understand that there is more to it than the uniform. Uniform is not just those uh, a piece of cloth. It is a part of your body. It becomes it becomes your DNA. So when once it's yes. in your DNA, it doesn't matter whether you wear olive greens or whether you wear those uh, military dresses. What matters is whether you're able to serve your country and what whatever capacity you are allowed to do that. You have to do that. There is no shying away from that. And I think uh, that's that's about it. You have to serve your country. There is no, no question on that. And and if that intention is there, then whatever is given to you as an attire becomes your uniform. So as an uh, intelligence officer, intercore officer, we, we also used to be in civil dress. We never wore the stars or the ranks all the time. And it is more challenging to appease, to, to convince, to get information from people without that authority with you because you are in disguise. You cannot reveal that, right? So Ma'am, I would rather say, I would, yeah. I would rather, sorry for interrupting. I would rather say that uh, once, once, uh, when, when we're coming for the intelligence, uh, serving as an intelligence officer, be it in the military uh, be, or in the intelligence bureau, I think the important thing that we have to understand is, uh, it is, stealth is the important thing. So if you are being identified, yes. How will you, how will you act as an agent? Do you are, you know, kind of, you know, defeating the entire objective of intelligence operator. You should know what you're signing up. You should know what you're signing up for. It is, uh, life is more than just glamour and more than this. You're, if you're, if you're committed to serve and in the intelligence, I believe the, our trainers, they told us that carrying a gun is a liability. Carrying yes. a gun is a liability. Avoid, avoid carrying that. Unless yes. it becomes indis unless it becomes indispensable, because you are supposed to uh, just mix with the background, as we can as you we have been taught in our training classes. Just mix with yes. the background. You have to just yes. be one with the crowd. You should not be yes. identified. So then the question of then your glamour and charm for the uniform becomes second thing. What what becomes Absolutely. more important is that uh, what is the task assigned. So all the world is a stage and we are all actors. Similarly, all the uh, world of security is a stage and we are all acting different roles in it. So that's about if I put it that way. Absolutely. And, uh, and, and your wit, your, your ability to secure your, you become a very important person. You are no more just a random, random person. You are, you, you are an asset. You are a national asset. You have to treat yourself with that importance. And if you think, this is precious, then definitely you will be able to sail through in the organization without any, without any concern. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. so um, if I have to put in, uh, if I ask you, what are the, what are the three points of advice uh, uh, you want to give to our aspirants or, or, and our viewers, especially those who are preparing for um, joining the elite uh, forces. What is your advice? Three points. Uh, Ma'am, first thing first, I, I would advise them to know themselves. Joining the services or not, or doing anything, anything in life. Uh, because we have become divorced from our own selves. That is what is the basic problem in the youth right now. We have to become one with your, ourselves. Once we uh, try to know what we are, see, when we go into the interview, we go hopping around to ask our friends, what do you 
सो भरना नहीं है वो वो हॉबी में भरना नहीं है वो जॉब सी इवन इफ यू लीव इट ब्लैंक इवन इफ यू लीव इट ब्लैंक एंड यू आर एबल टू डिफेंड इट वॉट इट्स इट्स वंडरफुल सी दे आर नॉट दे आर नॉट वॉन्टिंग यू टू प्रिटेंड टू बी समबडी सो फर्स्ट थिंग दैट आई वॉन्ट यू टू वॉन्ट टू टेल दस्पेरेंस इज नो योर सेल्फ फर्स्ट नो वट यू आर नो वट इज योर यूएसपी बिकॉज एवरी वन हैज यू नो यूनिक पोटेंशियल एंड आई ऑलवेज से एवरी वन हैज इन फाइनाइट पोटेंशियल वी हैव टू स्टॉप हेयरिंग टू दोज वॉइसिस दैट आर अराउंड be deaf to the, all the noise that is around and identify your uh, your potential and then move forward so first thing identify yourself secondly you should know what you want to do in life for example you are coming for the intelligence intelligence services defense services or administrative service or for that matter anything you want to do in life first of all you need to see whether you are suitable for that job you have to identify your skill set whether you have to work more on uh, see focus more on the process Yeah. result is a by result is a by product of that you can't just keep one eye on the target you can't just keep my on one eye on the target and then you have will stumble upon in the road blocks keep both your eyes on the road ahead and focus there so processes pe focus karna bahut zaruri hai pehli cheez okay. dusra aap pehla pehla bataye ki apne aap ko janiye aur most importantly see discipline and consistency is most important now. and see, success success in life doesn't come easy and if you want to achieve something worthwhile something meaningful in life it will come through those hard grinds as it is said in the military parlance it is through trials and tribulations that we earn our stripes stripes don't come easy that's so that's, that's how life it. is in life or in military or in anything you have to earn your stripes so go on your stripes work your work as hard as you can because that's where the magic lies wo kehte hain na gir jana mera ant nahi gir ja gir gaye ho lekin uth jao don't fall down get up get back up Get back up. सूरज जैसा अगर जलना है बनना है तो सूरज जैसा जलो श्री कृष्ण जी ने साफ कहा है सिर्फ कर्म तुम्हारा कल होगा कर्म ही तुम्हारा कल होगा और कर्म में अगर सच्चाई है तो कर्म कहां निष्फल होगा हर एक संकट का हल होगा आज नहीं तो कल होगा हर एक संकट का हल होगा तो फ्रेंड्स माई मैसेज विल बी जस्ट चैनलाइज योर इनर पावर दैट इनर ची दैट यू कॉल इन चाइना ना अपने इनर पावर को पहचानिए गेट डिसिप्लिन गेट फोकस्ड Get laser sharp in your tunnel vision. Ho jaiye. Just starve your distractions. Just don't feed them. Feed your energy yeah. into what lies ahead, and be driven for the love of the motherland. Don't be driven by the shallow pursuits of you know. See, uh, your own welfare is fine, but uh, but if you have a bigger vision that you want to create a difference in the society, then you won't feel fatigued. You won't feel tired. You won't feel Correct. depressed, disheartened. Your energy will be raring to go. and that's how you that's how we build our nation because all of us together come come together and build this nation then then only we can you know be of some value in the coming century uh, the example of hiroshima and nagasaki is in front of us they were raised to the ground they were buried or so the world would believe but yes. the, the japanese believed otherwise they rose yes. from the rubble yes, they, they rose, rose from the them. rubble rose like a phoenix so we also have to rise like a phoenix and just unleash that what you say the samurai spirit in us and just Absolutely. you know that's that's how we go forward a little story is, if you allow me ma'am little story for the aspirants who sure. say that hum kya hum kya kar sakte hain what can we do so you must people must have heard but still i will try to just phrase it there was a fire in the jungle jungle mein aag lag gayi sabhi janwar bhag rahe hain nadi ki taraf aag lag gayi hui hai sabko आग से बचने के लिए जंगल जंगल से नदी की तरफ भाग रहे हैं इस सब में एक छोटी सी चिड़िया है वो जाती है नदी से पानी अपनी चोंच में लेके आग बुझा रही है फिर से जा रही है फिर से आग बुझा रही है शी इज डूइंग वॉट शी कैन डू बाकी जो जानवर भाग रहे हैं वो सोच रहे हैं तो पागल हो गई चिड़िया इसकी चोट से कैसे आग बुझेगी हाँ। तो बीच में लोमड़ी ने लोमड़ी से रहा नहीं किया उसने आखिरकार पूछ लिया कि चिड़िया तुम्हारी चोट से तो आग बुझने वाली नहीं है तो तुम क्यों ये बेवकूफी वाला काम कर रही है कहती मुझे भी पता है मेरी चोन से आग नहीं बुझेगी लेकिन जब इस जंगल का इतिहास लिखा जाएगा मेरा नाम आग बुझाने वालों में आएगा ना कि भागने वालों में सो माय मैसेज टू ऑल द एस्पिरेंट्स बिकम द पीपल हु जस्ट कंट्रीब्यूट डोंट शाई अवे फ्रॉम वट एवर चैलेंज इज थ्रोन एट यू सो दो यू हु आर आस्टिंग इज टू एंड हाफ मंथ सफिशियंट फ्रेंड्स इफ यू हैव द स्पिरिट इफ यू हैव द विल पावर इफ यू हैव द डिटर्मिनेशन नथिंग कैन स्टॉप यू नथिंग ऑन दिस प्लान because every one of us has infinite potential and see 
just 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 don't waste time the one thing most important is either play either study or work on your spiritual health don't just while away your time the life is not to be while away this world should be better because we have we have come this way world should be a better place so that's that's that has to be your approach we have to become like that light that spreads more light into the world and not just be uh, not just exist not just we shouldn't just exist we exactly. should thrive we should thrive that's how we as a nation we as a nation will thrive so that's my message ma'am thank you so much navjot i'm very sure it was it is it is so inspiration that i had goosebumps i'm being very thank honest you, thank and you. Uh, i'm very sure that they will be inspired um we have some questions but i think so you have already answered those questions there were certain questions on eligibility some people asked that i am in llb final year some people have asked about the um uh, what is the time duration between stage 1 and stage 2 all these That questions we have addressed we have addressed you all your questions we have taken a look yeah you can take a look at the live session again just go to it make your notes pause it notes bana lo jo bhi bataya hai whatever navjot has shared please do that and those who want more 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 you what we call as you know more deep dive into it more more uh, surgical uh, approach to the whole preparation please connect with navjot he is mentoring uh, uh, aspirants and uh, keep your heart at the right place before you go to him okay so he is going to thing, buy your stories one thing, <laughs> one thing i like to mention to the students that uh Hanji. they they should exercise some patience because uh, they want their answer immediately it is very difficult to answer individually i will try to club the queries and make a video or do something of that sort so please have some patience uh, please yes. understand it we are over the important quality <laughs> yeah patience patience is a virtue patience is a virtue patience is a virtue absolutely and more Thank so for so more so for the intelligence officer absolutely absolutely now to and i'm very sure those who will watch these this video will at least get the direction they were looking for till now because uh, you know ek to pehli baar ib aise kuch kar rahi hai you know like it is it is recent that it has started coming out so openly uh, if otherwise i i mean when we joined i i know of his ministry of home affairs aise likh ke aata tha and and never aciu ib i mean this is the first time we are seeing um so uh, this is an opportunity for you all just go and seize it don't miss it trust me i have okay. worked with uh, navjot i have worked with uh, many from his fraternity the kind of exposure the kind of maturity you, you i mean he's there he's there an example for you all he's there an epitome for that and that is the person you will become who will who will do relentlessly for uh, your country it and it doesn't stop i mean we don't stop at this that is that is our uh, you know thing you you, you have enough uh, uh, opportunities uh, coming ahead and and 995 seats are not less don't think that oh 995 you need only one you need only one that's the point don't think of 995 leave 994 for others just take your one you know i'll share something which i did when i was preparing for the army mm -hmm. and uh, everybody was like you know uh, uh, when when we have to fill that choice of arms so uh, from day one in the academy whenever the whenever any instructor would ask which core you uh, okay who 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 wants to go in uh, okay who wants to go in intelligence my hand would be raised okay me and my friend and trust me navjot the power of manifestation i would say if i would say agar do seat do seat bhi hogi us do mein ek mera hai you know that that was the that, level of uh, i think you should learn from nidhi ma'am also how how she so she was sure sure and she manifested her journey in the intelligence score so please join the intelligence score either in the military or in the intelligence bureau it is phenomenal um, there is lot of learning there is lot of reading like navjot said you have to read a lot aap ye mat socho pyaas ke bhav kyon gire kyunki pyaas ke bhav ke piche kaun sa game chal raha hoga you will not come to know absolutely. you will just not come to know what game has been played behind it okay 
uh, scam nine ninety two. Everybody is seeing mm-hmm. now the movie mm-hmm. and sitting in awe. But I'm very sure the the agencies have done their hard work and toiled, and that is why you are seeing That's what true. you are seeing. Okay, so become part of of nation building. Uh, this is your opportunity. Don't miss it. For any queries or any questions about how to prepare, please please reach out to Navjot, and uh, uh, you know I'm Navjot. I'm there to help you wherever you need my help. No, okay. ma'am. It's, it's an honor. Is... It's an honor, and thank you for inviting me to the session. It's been a privilege. Uh, rekindle those That's memories right. of Tej of Tejpur. Absolutely, absolutely. That is a that is a. Very beloved place to me. I started Absolutely. my journey from there. Same, I went there. In fact, I would tell you, ma'am, uh, my younger brother, he, his first posting was also Tejpur. He was oh, posting the signal. He was posting the signal code just opposite to your your office. You see okay. that which area? I remember. I'm forgetting that area. What you call that? Yeah. Just in, yeah. in across the road, across the road of your office. I, I got it. Yeah, he was I in, got it. Yeah, he was in the I, signal I ops. I can't tell the area here. Yeah, yeah, we don't need to tell. Yeah, yeah, sorry, uh, uh, we shouldn't yeah. tell. We shouldn't tell. Absolutely. So we are still so, still in the group. We still still in the intelligence. We are maintaining that presence of mind. Like once a soldier is always a soldier. Always once a soldier. intelligencer is always an intelligence. Okay. Absolutely. So with that, uh, thank you so much, Navjo. Thank you so much okay. for being here. I thank all our viewers who took our time. I know it was abrupt. Uh, live session, but it is important because time is running out. Your exam, your last date of uh, receiving the uh, applications is 15 December. So you have to do your speed up your process and get into action right now. So that is why I did the live today. Um, um, and and uh, as I already brought out, those who have any further queries, you can go. This live will be saved for your interest. And uh, please. Uh, uh, You know, uh, love this arm, um, uh, love this part of uh, the nation, uh, the national security, the the uh, uh, the army, the armed forces, because intelligence is is something uh, not seen, but it's there. It's like a fragrance. Okay, so it's there. So it's very much we, you know, we are not to be seen. We are to be felt. That is the <laughs> what 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 a line, ma'am. Beautiful, what beautiful. We are to be felt. Absolutely. Absolutely. Exactly. So uh, enjoy the journey. If you join, if you join IB, enjoy the process of preparation. It will be a great learning for all of you. Okay. Thank you so much, Navjot. With that, Thank let's you, sign ma'am. off. Thank you Absolutely. for your time. Uh, take good care of yourself. And whenever you are here in Delhi, let me know. Let's catch up. Uh, thank ma'am. you so much, Jay. Same here, ma'am. It's a, it, it, it's been a pleasure. Pay my regards to sir as well. Absolutely, I'll do that. Thank, Thank you, you so you, much. Take Thank care. You, okay, ma'am. Jai Hind. Jai Hind. Jai Hind. So, dear friends, that was Namjoot Singh from the Intelligence Bureau, who has served in the Intelligence Bureau and worn many other hats. I am so charged up after hearing him that अगर मुझे आज बोला जाए तो exam दे दे but of course like ah uh, that time has gone but you guys the time is still there fill your forms get your uh, clarifications how to go about filling the forms what would be the content of the uh, you know what all what all things you should keep in mind uh, while preparing for the uh, for the exam the content of the syllabus more into detail please do get in touch with Navjot he's mentoring. it happens very rare that you know uh, you i mean i'm really grateful that he's doing this it happens very rare that um, you know you are able to take out that kind of a time to mentor people make the most of it learn as much as you can and do well i want most of you to see in that 995 figure so your goal is one seat out of that 995 should be yours okay that should be your goal okay with that signing off don't forget the wind up with 2023 uh, uh, wind up 2023 with uh, major nidhi is still there on we are connecting again on sunday um, another interesting guest we will be having on my uh, instagram live so see you there and 10 december morning 5:30 am see you sharp at jawalal nehru stadium for 
the honor run it's time that to time to show that you love your nation it's time to show that you love your veterans you love the armed forces it's time to do your bit for the country don't miss it thank you so much jai hind take care